Hey folks, let's chat about a, implementing a doubly linked list. You're going to need this for problems like least recently used cache. So we're going to support the following operations. It's going to be append left, uh, pop, and also remove. Um, so let's see, this adds an element to the front of the list. This removes the element from the end of the list, and this removes an element from the interior of the list. So we need a node. So let's define that. Like this. So I'm just go. Like this. It's going to take a value. We're going to save the value. And this node is going to have next and previous pointers. Initially none. So this is a doubly linked list. I'm going to call it DLL list. Um, so a doubly linked list typically contains a head and tail pointer because you, um, in order to uh, know where to add um, to the front, where to pop, you're going to need those two pointers. So. Initially, there'll be none. This list is empty. This is really um, tedious to talk about. So the operations is going to support our um, append left. So this is going to be a particular node. We're also going to support pop. And we're going to support um, what is it? Remove. Like that. Those are the operations that I can think of. Okay, so let's implement these in order. I think I resize the window. Um, resize the back. Okay, great. Whatever. Okay, let's do um, the pen left first. Um, Let's consider the typical case first. Um, I'm just going to make something up. So it's going to be A. This is a doubly linked list. This is my depiction of a doubly linked list. So there are two vertices, or two nodes, A and B. They point to each other. So A.next is B, and B.prev is A. And B.next is nil, or none. So the head pointer is going to be here, and the tail pointer is going to be here. And where um, I'm just move this to the right, and we're going to add a node in. So here's what we want: we want this to happen. Just align this. So how do we do that? Um, well, um, node.next is self.head. So head is a, or a head points to a. And we want a dot prev to point back but to point back to the node. So um, self.head.prev is equal to node. So that will accomplish this. The other thing we want to do is move h here. So that's just going to be this self.head is equal to node. Um, why is this happening? Let's see. Self.head. Okay, got it. Uh, that's okay. It's just um this is none. Um, oh, I see. It's like a, a type thing. That's okay. So basically, this works. Um, when you're doing a linked list, you have to consider uh, always have to consider the edge cases. The edge cases to consider are um, when there's only one node in the um, list. So let's consider that situation. So um, it's just a and. Um, you've got a node that you're trying to insert here. So uh, basically, um, you want this to happen, right? Let's see if that works. Um, so this will do that rewiring, and this will move H here. So in this case, it works fine as well. This is for when there's only one node. So this is a typical case. 
this is the um, one node case. So let's also consider the empty case. So um, let's say this is the case. Basically, um, um, head and tail are both none. So um, if this is the case, we actually just want to set h and t to n. So let's uh, write the code for that. So if not, so if the list is empty, um, both head and tail are going to point to the node. Like that. Otherwise, we'll run our um, previous code. Cool. So that is um, that. Um, let's do pop. Um, let's go through the scenarios again. The first scenario is the typical case. Let's say we have this typical case. Let's add three elements. Um, I'm going to move this a little bit. Uh, that's fine. I'll keep it like that. So basically, H is going to be here. T is going to be here. And so what do we want? We want to um, disconnect B from C, right? So let's set a pointer here to B. I'll call it prev, um, or before. Let's call it, yeah, prev is fine. So prev is going to be um, um, actually let's do this. So I'll call this x, y, and z, and this will be b for before. And before is going to be set to self dot tail dot prev. So um, which is y. So we want to disconnect this. How do we do that? Um, well, basically, uh, before.next is none, and self.tail.prev is none as well. Um, you know, before you dereference something like this, you want to do a check to make sure you're not doing a nil dereference. All right, so, um, so that disconnection has been done. Now you want to move t here. So self.tail is going to be um, before. And that completes the picture. Um, cool. So let's consider other scenarios. Let's consider when we only have one, or maybe the empty um, case. Um, oh, uh, let me go back here. We do want to return the value of the of the tail. So let's save that before anything happens. So let's say result is the value, and we return it at the end. Um, cool. So um, let's consider the empty case. So basically, if there's nothing to pop, we'll just return none. So that's pretty trivial to handle. Let's consider when there are um, there's only one element, so like this. Um, so let's see what our code does. So before is going to be prev or self .tail .prev, which is going to be um, none, like that. So I'll just draw like this. So this is not going to execute because before is none. So we're going to, um, this is basically a no op because self.tail.prev is already none. Then we're going to move the tail here. Um, notice that in this case we also want to move h here. So let's detect this case and move h there as well. So if not self.tail then is also none. Cool. So that takes care of pop. That's all the scenarios. <clears throat> and uh, let's handle remove. Um, so um, let me uh, depict this situation on a, let's say we've got this case. Um, and and this will take a node. Uh, I'll call this B for before and A for after. And this is going to go to none. So basically we want to disconnect B um, from N and N from A. So that's going to look like this. Um, we want this to happen. Um, but since we want to rewire B to A and A to B, we can see that clearly. We basically want this to happen. So N is out of the, the fray and these are just, uh, 
these are connected to each other like that. I'll bring these closer. Let's see, just make this a bit prettier. Okay, we want this to happen. So let's save. So B is actually um, going to be this. It's the previous um, node to N. After is what comes afterward. Then we're going to disconnect node from A and B. That's going to look like this. Like that. Um, and let's see what else. Um, oh, and then we want to rewire B to A and vice versa. So it's going to look like this. Cool. So that should do it. Um, so uh, let's see. Um, in this case, um, H and T are in their proper places, but you always, with a linked list, you always have to test your um, method on when there's nothing. Um, when, um, uh, well, let's assume that node is going to be none. Uh, let's assume it's the only element, actually. So we, we have to test when there's only one element. So let's, um, that's one of the edge cases you have to consider. So let's uh, uh, visualize that situation like this. Um, and uh, this is going to point to none. So what do we want? Let's see what this code does. Um, um, so basically, uh, we're removing this. And um, actually, it might be more revealing before we do this case to test the other boundary conditions. So let's say we want to remove something that's at the front and then something that's at the back. So like this. So H is going to be here and T is going to be here. Now let's create a little bit more space. Um, uh, let's call this X and Y actually, uh, the way we did it before. X is nil here. So B is going to be node.prev, like that. A is going to be what comes after, so A is going to be here, like that. Um, so we're going to disconnect um, X from Y, right? So this is going to disappear. Um, so this is just floating around now. Um, and we want to connect, so B is null, so this is not going to trigger. A is not null, so we're going to link it to B, which means Y is going to point to this X right here. So let me move X out of the um, here, and this is going to go here. So now X is pointing to Y is pointing to nothing. Um, so note that we want H to point to. So H was previously um, at X. It's still pointing to X, actually, but we want to move it to Y. So um, basically, um, if, if the node was ahead, if self.head is node, then we want the head, new head to be what comes after it, which is A. So we want H to be, um, this is pointing to A, um, like that. This is what comes after the node. And you can sort of see that if the um, what we were removing was the tail, we'd want the new tail to be the, the thing that came before, which could be null um, in the case of a single element list. So that's that. Let's test that scenario. Um, so let's see, x, y goes to x, h is going to be here, um, t is going to be here. And uh, we want to disconnect y from x and x from y. So let's see, uh, b is going to be here. That's this line right here. a is going to be what comes afterward. We disconnect, um, let me call this end actually. We disconnect end from x, so this is gone. Um, x is still pointing to n at this point. So um, b is none, so we're not going to execute this. Um, 
actually, uh, oh no, no, this is, this is not none, this is actually X. I messed up the, um, the symbol, but this is actually an actual node. So this is actually going to execute. So this is going to point to A, which is null. So let's move N out of the way. Um, so X is actually going to point to none, which is capital X. I'm just realizing how um, I didn't choose very good notation. Um, and uh, A is none, so we're not going to execute this. Um, so uh, N wasn't the head, so we're not going to execute this, but it is the tail. So we're going to move the, t the tail pointer to B, um, like this. So that is actually uh, what we want. This is a um, this is the result that we want. So this um, looks correct to me for the cases that we tested. Uh, let me um, uh, anyway. That's how you implement a doubly linked list for use in problems like LRU cache.